Okay, so we're day six. Uh, it turns out Elizabeth was, we basically, you know, she was her younger sister. She died. We barely knew her. And hopefully the, I don't want to say like imaginary friends, but like Lissy, Alice, and uh, the guardian thing. Basically like things that we have kind of created to deal with all the crazy stuff that we've been through. Like we lost our sister. She died in the pond. Our mother killed herself by drowning herself and our dad killed himself by shooting himself. Like we're pretty beyond repair. So we were finding these items and we were convinced that they were Goodbye, Betty. Betty's things, but they're clearly not. And the picture that we have of Betty is just like, I think an actress or something like it's not even her because she died when she was super young. But she, before she left, Lissy was saying, we're here to tell their story. We're here to figure out what happened. Now, we got to the mine. It collapsed. That doesn't help. And without knowing what's in there... Are you up? Come outside. It's a beautiful day. Okay, let me just... I think... The weather's been changing according to us, too. I guess it was getting like gloomier and gloomier. Oh, this room's locked again. See what? Juice yet? I might be weaned off the stuff. Boo. Don't lose your taste for tea, old fruit. It keeps you human. We have unfinished business. Yeah? We do? The final piece of the puzzle. It's, yeah, what is that? Come on. Let's go back to where it started. We have an appointment with a ghost. What? Are you talking about where she fell? I see. Hmm? Nothing. Guess we'll see. Such an amazing view, isn't it? And the air. Ugh. Why did we come here, Teddy? To Grovik. Well. Well, originally. <laughs> what if he thinks the answer is simple and logical? A conversation in a public place, the name subconsciously registered. He was drawn here. As so this place has an ethereal weight. Or Betty. Elizabeth may be a specter, he thinks, but she still holds power. The letter to Frederick. The one you found in his safe. From Boston. I may have overheard a conversation somewhere. Paid it no attention, but the name stuck. And Betty... Hmm. And I it's spun like a story around possible, it I guess. put us on this path. Do you really believe that? I mean, how often are you around people? Hmm to find my sister. But Betty's not. She was never here. It doesn't make sense. Some places have gravity. What are you saying? Gravewick's gravity pulled us across Gravewick. the ocean? Gravewick. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. That's irrational. But you believe it, don't you? That we were summoned to tell their story. Yeah, but why? I'm a man of science. I don't know what to believe. And yet... Here we are. All three of us. Is this what you wanted to show me? I wanted to be close to her. Do you believe in ghosts, Edward? I mean, I believe in anything now. Well, you've been chasing one for years. That's different. What about me? Us. Exactly. You're not ghosts. You're alive. Fair enough. No, they're not. So what really happened to Ruth? Can't all have been because of an accident? 
Chance events cascade into accidental avalanche that destroys people. She was probably murdered. I don't know. Simon? I don't know. Sometimes the answer's right in front of you. Simon was a convenient scapegoat. He thinks they needed one to focus their rage, blinding them to facts. No. I don't believe it was Simon. Then who? Frederick? The hanged man? Someone else? Yeah. Does it matter? I don't know. Maybe not. So she ran from the mine. And she came here. And then someone pushed her? Maybe. If only she had wings. Like a bluebird. She could have soared away on autumn winds. She was but running out of the mine. she killed? The mine, he knows, was dangerous and not just literally. It represented something more, but it held secrets many wanted buried. There were things of Ruth's treasure. Ancient things of value to her, but cursed, if that was the right word, by history she was unaware of. Because she was playing where she shouldn't. The secret the Fretlands no. had kept for a generation. If people learn the truth, it might tear the community apart. So she was murdered, and the village was cursed. I hope she's at peace. And with God. Do you think that's where everyone's gone? <laughs> Everyone believes there's only darkness after death, but strange as it may seem, Alice has her own beliefs. It feels almost cruel to deny her those. He has no faith in an afterlife. He saw into his mother's dead eyes. He saw the gunshot wound in his father's head. And he even knew... He knew even then that heaven was a lie. Well, uh, we'll give her this. Heaven? They're dead. I don't know what that means. Maybe there is more. I can't stop you from hoping. We'll never know what happened to everyone in Grovik. We tried our best. We'll remember them. All of them. Maybe that will give them some peace in the afterlife. Could this be your book, Edward? The one you've been wanting to write? A story about people who are isolated. Left behind by the world. You can give them all a proper ending. With no annoying loose threads. Hmm. Edward! Is that... A boat? What the... Huh? Who cares? Let's catch it before it sets out on another adventure. I don't understand how this can be. It must have been the wind. Whatever helps you sleep at night, teddy bear. Let's blouse, while the weather's still good. I need my suitcase. So get a wiggle on, old boy. I'm going to say my goodbyes to all the things. I don't think we'll be back. Meet you at the house. <laughs> my goodness. Ah, uh, righty ho. No rush. We have all day. So I wonder if there's anything that we should be, like, revisiting. This is where we found her hat. go check the um I want to go check the mine and maybe the safe just to see if anything's different never mind Check these houses if we can.
No, same thing. We just peek. The house that says traitor, though, where the door is slammed. We were able to go into before. But, like, I don't know... I guess we just go back to the house. finally dried up. Oh, what's this? Oh, we can draw something. I think so. You know, this house is starting to grow on me. Come on, Teddy. Pack your things. I'll meet you by the boat. Do you never sit still? Don't be a wet blanket. Let's make like the wind and get out of here. I don't understand what this is about. Maybe it's just like a reference to remembering who we are kind of thing. Do I want to take these or do I just leave it and like actually leave her behind? I think so. Yeah. Maybe once and for all, we can move on. The wind and the ocean are like music. I think I'll miss this place. Come on, let's go. Row, Teddy, row. <laughs> the water's still cold. It's a fjord, Lissy, and it's almost winter. There'll be snow when we get back to Hanover. The house will be warm. Are we going to be all right, Edward? I think so. Goodbye to all the things. Damn, that was really touching. It was cool. It kind of turned from like, uh, you know, about the people in the town to mostly about us and how to get over the fact that we lost our sister and we are still struggling, uh, quite obviously. Now, see how, did Betty, does Lissy, Betty and the Entity are... Like, I'm wondering if, if we noticed 
the voice change or if the entity was just the entity and Betty. I'm not sure. Um, but the twist that she died when he, she was younger, that was surprising. And that kind of made me think, well, okay, that's what this is really about. It's like, we're going out here again and whoever Lissy is to us, whoever the entity is to us, uh, protecting us and like, are like, okay, it's time, like, get over this, you know? Um, the story in the town is really interesting with like the curse and those ancient Viking artifacts. Like that could be real. The murder could have happened. It could have been an accident. Um, I don't think that there's anything super conclusive there. Uh, there's certainly motive for a lot of people, not Simon, in my opinion. Um, and I get why they wanted to like protect that secret because they didn't want the uh, mind to be impacted. But um, I wish there was a little bit more clarity around that because we, we got so invested in it. And I'm not sure... There, there, even she said, like, you know, tying up loose ends. You could write the book and then tie up any loose ends. And we were like, well, maybe it's a murder. And Edward was like, well, who did it then? Was it Simon? Was it a stranger? We said, could have been a stranger. Does it even matter? Like, she's dead, right? Does it even matter? I don't know. Does it even matter? So, I, I kind of wish that there was a little bit more resolution, but it was a really beautiful story, and it was beautifully told, actually. Um, some of the cool little twists and turns that we had were really enjoyable. And um, with Lissy, you kind of got the feeling that something was weird because of the fact that we never discussed what our relationship was. Like, even when you read the description of the game, it's like she's an, she's an enigmatic young ward of ours. And it's kind of like, what does that mean exactly? What does that mean exactly? Uh, and it was never discussed. And then obviously, once she started, like, disappearing, you're like, hmm. And, and like, even from, like, a gameplay mechanics perspective, sometimes she would just, like, show up behind you and you're like, that's weird. But you kind of just accept that because it's a game. And, like, companions and games are sometimes weird. But she had a very real reason for doing that. Because she was, you know, created... She's in his mind. Right? Um, and you think, when we learned about the, the history of his life, that's pretty crazy. Um, how he had to carry his dead sister back to her mo his mother... His mother resented him for it. She killed herself by ironically drowning herself. And then the dad killed himself by shooting himself in the head. And he saw all these things. And he's totally effed up, right? Like, that's... He's totally messed up. Um, Edward and Alice will return. Oh, really? I would like to see, like, if these guys kind of go and... Uh, take on other stories and, like, want to tell other people's stories. That'd be kind of cool. I just wish we had, like, a concrete resolution. That's all. I just want to... I just want a concrete resolution. I just want to see if there's anything else here. Even though we didn't get, like, a super clear resolution, like, I, as I say, I still enjoyed it immensely. I had, a, I had a great time. And it wasn't a long experience, and it was, I think, a good length for what they wanted to do and tell a story like that. Awesome. Like, I like that kind of stuff. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I know there's going to be some people saying, well, it's like a walking simulator. And, I mean, sure, if that's how you look at it, because it doesn't have a lot of uh, gameplay, like, gamey elements. But, uh... As I said at the very beginning of the game, with the very first thing I said was, if you're looking for a good story, and I think we got it. We did get a good story, albeit maybe some, uh, some things left up in the air for interpretation at the end. And if you guys have thoughts, let me know. I'd love to hear it. Um, hope you had a good one. And if you guys have suggestions for things to play in the future, uh, this is a place to, uh, to let me know. I always look at the last episode of, um... Of previous games to figure out what I'm going to play in the future. So let me know. Thank you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.